What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, we're taking a look at the brand new update of APS3E emulator for Android, which just got updated to version 0.7. A lot of you have asked me to test this on a Mali GPU phone. So that's exactly what we're doing today. All right. So this is my Galaxy device, powered by the Exynos 1380 chipset with a Mali G68 5-core GPU clocked up to 950 megahertz, which is quite equivalent to the MediaTek Dimensity 7300. It has six gigs of RAM with UFS storage. And this is APS3E emulator with a brand new icon. Let's go to its app settings. To battery settings, set no restrictions. Now let's open app. As you can see, I've already loaded some game ROMs. Tap on options and here, they've added some new settings. If we go to the update log, it shows that it's currently running on version 0.7. This is still an alpha build. I've already covered how to set up this emulator in my last video. It's easy. You just need to install the firmware first, install the PS3 update file, and then import the PS3 game ROM files you downloaded directly from storage. There's also a key mapper option now, allowing you to create custom key values for the virtual controller. In Virtual Pad Edit, you can customize the controls however you like. They also redesigned the interface. If you import a new ROM, just tap Refresh, and it will show up in the list. Before testing, let's modify the config file of the APS3E emulator. PPU Decoder, set to Static. Video Renderer, set to OpenGL or Vulkan for some devices. Resolution set to 600p. Frame limit, set to 1520 FPS for better stability and shader precision quality. Set to low. Write color and depth buffers. Set both to true. Now save the file. Go back to its app settings. Force stop the APS3 emulator and launch it again. All right, now let's test God of War 3. As you can see, the graphical issues are still there. Oh, it crashed. Let's try another game. Okay, this one actually loaded. It's good to see that at least something runs on Mali GPUs now. But the issue is still the same for most Snapdragon users, except for the Snapdragon 8 Elite users, which actually runs stable, but not all PS3 titles. Let's try Naruto Shippuden. It actually loaded. And just take a look at this cutscene, it's actually got loaded but with a graphical glitch. But still, it's kind of somewhat playable on this Mali device. In this emulator, some games load, while others crash during ROM compilation. Hopefully, these issues get fixed in future updates. Games like GTA 5 on PS3 are only around 16 gigs in size, but right now, it's not working or loading on any device. Meanwhile, the PC version on the other side, which is over 70 gigs of size, actually runs on Android pretty well through GameHub or win later emulators. Hopefully, things improve in the future, and maybe we'll even see these games running on low-end devices. After all, the PS3 is actually less powerful than most modern Android phones today. Anyway, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.